sɛ brakɔtɛ yɛ hawɔ, brakɔtɛ yɛ ɔhyɛe, brakɔtɛ yɛ hawɔ, brakɔtɛ yɛ ɔhyɛe, brakɔtɛ yɛ hawɔ, brakɔtɛ yɛ ɔhyɛe. First and foremost, I want to give all praises and glory and honor to Yahweh, Ba Hashem Yahweh Shai. Double honor to the apostles and elders who rule well at Great Millstone. And a blessed salutation to the Akyams in the four corners of the earth to push in the gospel and sincerity and truth. Shalom. This is, next, this is another edition of spiritual food. Come to feed the church of Yahweh, Ba Hashem Yahweh Shai, which is the 144,000. And the one third men and the children, which is you so called Negro, Latin, and Native American Indian. The elect, the remnant that are going to be saved in these last days. You know, and we, how are you going to be saved? One is that you have, to be, you have to be ordained from the beginning at the foundation in order to be saved. And two, you're going to be saved through, your, through the knowledge of Yahweh, through the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. You know, I saw your faith, right? That's how you're going to be saved in these times, believing in Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, doing the things that He say, right? So, this one I kick, kick off with this. This is Proverbs chapter 19, verse 20. Hear counsel, hear who counsel Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai counsel, and, and receive instruction Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai instruction. That thou mayest be wise in, thy la, in the latter end, that thou may be wise in the latter end. The scripture also says, Wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability at the time, right? What time? In the time of Jacob trouble, right? And the time, the time is right at our doorstep. Right now, Venezuela going through Jacob trouble, Puerto Rico going through Jacob trouble, Dominica going through Jacob trouble. Um, these islands that get hit with these hurricanes going through Jacob trouble. Like uh, we saw this island, uh, Bermuda going through Jacob trouble, Saint Saint Martin. This island will get hit to these hurricane. They going through Jacob trouble, right? And you can just get worse and worse. So wisdom and knowledge, which Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, wisdom and knowledge gonna be the stab stability at the time, right? This is um, Isaiah chapter thirty three verse six. It said, and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability. Of thy times, the times of what Jacob trouble, martial law, economy collapse, famine, race war, Mike RFID Mike a chip. These is things that come in, right? America being destroyed by Thurman nuclear missile, I C I C B M missile, right? This is the plagues that come in, right? And what gonna deliver you? The wisdom and knowledge you have about Hashem, you Hashem gonna be the stability of the time. Stability mean to be to mean the state of being stable in all the, in the time where the all them plagues and coming. The man, the man, the Lord gonna be stable in mind. They are gonna be stable in mind. We gotta know this is Yahweh Bashem Yahushai judgment, and what they gonna be doing is calling on Yahweh Bashem Yahushai for protection, praying to Yahweh Bashem Yahushai all season for guidance to be delivered. You know, so they gonna be in they they gonna be in a stable. In, in a state of being stable, security, safety, under Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Right? This way it said, this way it said, wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability at the time. They're going to be a security, they're going to be a safety. Right? That's also going to be, also going to be a faith. Right? It say, um, Isaiah 23 and 6, it and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy time. And strength of salvation, the fear of the Lord Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai is his treasure. Uh, so the fear of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, right? Like I said in the beginning of the video, the men them that are gonna be saved alongside the women and children that are gonna be saved in this time, they were already ordained before the foundation of the earth. They was ordained from from the beginning to be saved, right? So that's why this that's why the most I send is prophets out on the highways and byways, starting with our elders and our past our pastors and elders at GMS, right? And to doing these up uh, this video a pestle to wake up who the ones that was what uh, was ordained from the fun before the foundation in order to be saved. So this message is to is to the elect and also to condemn the wicked two third of our nation who are gonna be destroyed on this side and the heathen nation that who are gonna be destroyed on this side. And the heathens then who gonna, who gonna survive that going into slavery, they gonna be the first fruit of slavery.
this, these 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 heathen nations, right? So, motherfucker, let me get this here. This is a uh, to show. This is Second Ezra chapter eight, four seven, and every one that shall be saved, and shall be able to escape by his work, and by faith, by his work, and by faith. A motherfucker gonna get a quick precept to bang this up, right? This is Ecclesiastes chapter 44, right? It says by his by his work and by his feet, right? This is Ecclesiastes Ecclesiastes chapter 44, verse 17. He said, Noah was found perfect and righteous in the time of wrath. He was taken in exchange for the world. Therefore was therefore was he left as a remnant unto the earth when the flood came. Yeah, because Noah was from what? Noah was from righteous. Noah was a man of faith. He was from righteous because what? he had faith in Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. He believed in Yahweh Bashem Yahushai until the rain would have come and flood, and flood the earth. He believed that. He went and built the ark. That is faith. He believed. Right? He believed. And there was there was there was his stability at that time. Can you believe in Yahweh Bashem Yahushai? So back in Second Ezra, chapter eight, verse seven, right? No, Salaki. Second Ezra, chapter nine, verse seven. Salaki. Second Ezra, chapter nine, verse seven. He said, "And every one that shall be saved, and shall be able to escape by his works, and by faith." whereby he have believed and that's how Noah get saved because Noah believed Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh when our fourth father Abraham believed Yahweh it was counted him for what righteousness right it was counted him for righteousness verse um verse 8 he says shall be preserved from this from the set peril shall be preserved from the set peril they're gonna be saved the most I can protect them Right, they gonna be in a they they gonna be in a state, the state of being was stable in mind. Because what the most I prepare them for for the time that come in. The men they love gonna be prepared for the time that come in, right? Which is a which is a dread time, right? It say uh, shall be preserved from the set perils, and shall see my salvation in my land, which is the land of Jerusalem, right and. He said, and within my borders, for I have sanctified them for me from the beginning. I can mention all in the video. The men, the women and children who are going to be delivering this time, who are going to be the remnant, was already ordained from the foundation of the earth. So the most I, these, these, these videos and the men, the men, the Lord on the highways and byway, just so, it, it, they, they, when they hear this word, they're going to they're gonna get it. They're going to they gonna get it. They're going to know it's speaking about them. So they're going to wake out. They're going to wake out. Up. They're gonna wake out of the sleep they in, the deep sleep. Right? So it's your wisdom, knowledge, and understanding will be your stability at the time. Your faith, your belief, it will gonna deliver you in the time. And it's only it's only it's only the elect gonna get it because it was ordained for day to get it. It's already in them. They just gotta they just gotta hear the voice, which is this word that you have by Hashem Yahweh Shai. And they're gonna wake up and be and be delivered. In this time that come in, these 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 ill time, this perilous time, right? Um, and that's how it, and that's how Lot was Lot was delivered in the time with Sodom and Gomorrah too, because what? he was from righteous in the eyes of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. He was from faithful and he believed in Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, and that's how he was, and that's how he was delivered too, right? That's how he was delivered too. There's um Second Peter two. Right, just a minute. I got a scripture. Okay. Uh, this is Second Peter chapter two. I'll start from um, verse six. He said, "And turning the city of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes, condemning them with an over overthrow, making them an exact example unto those that after should live ungodly." Is when the Mosai destroy Sodom and Gomorrah, right? Is when the Mosai destroy Sodom and Gomorrah. Right, he said, and 
he said and delivered just lot vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked the time the wicked was the Hamites right verse, verse 8 for that righteous man dwelling among them in seeing and hearing vex his righteous soul from day to day with the unlawful deeds so Lot was found righteous in the eyes of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai and that's how Lot and that's how Lot was delivered by his righteousness that's how you that's how he that's how Lot be delivered by his righteousness right and that's how that's how the elect gonna be delivered in these last days right this is Proverbs chapter 11 verse 4 he said rich riches profit not in the day of wrath so riches profit not in the day of wrath you could get all your wealth you could be the most famous person right you they're not gonna deliver you <clears throat> you know you could have much business you want you, you could got you could you could have this whole world in your possession they're not gonna deliver you right proverb 11 and 4 it's a richest profit not in the day of wrath but righteousness but righteousness right this is not not your own righteousness the righteousness of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, you know, taking heed to his counsel, right? Doing what he say, believing in him, right? He said, But righteousness deliver it from death, but righteousness deliver it from death. That's how you're gonna be delivering these last day by your faith, by your works, by your righteousness, and the righteousness of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. Now your own now, now your own righteousness, right? Not your not your own righteousness. You know? This is our wisdom of Solomon. Um, this is wisdom of Solomon, chapter 9, verse 18. For so the ways of them which live on the earth were reformed, and men were taught the things that are pleasing unto thee and were saved through wisdom so that's how the, that's how these men gonna be saved today and also the household gonna be saved these men the women and children gonna be saved through what the wisdom of who yahweh bashem yahushai right doing his will keeping his last to your best ability last touch and coming to your best ability you know repenting from your wicked ways turning back and being sorrowful repent to yahweh bashem yahushai call on the name of yahweh bashem yahushai this is the true name of yahweh yeah, the true name of the, the world, the um, God who the world is going to call Salakin. Yahweh is the true name of of the, of the Heavenly Father who the world is going to call God, and Yahweh Shai is the name of the Son who the world is going to call Jesus. You gotta know the correct names, and you gotta know that he is an Israelite. You so called Negroes, Latin, Native American, and you are an Israelite, right? Yes, yes, not these by words that the, that, the, that the so called white man give to you. You are an Israelite, me, he prince of God. Right? That's who you are. You so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indian. So, so you're going to be delivered by your faith, by your work, your belief. Right? And also, I want to close off with this, this precept here, right? The Second Thessalonians. Right? This is uh, as only the elect going to believe. Only the elect going to have faith. Right? Only the leg gonna call in name of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, right? Uh, this is um, Second Thessalonians two and thirteen, right? Yeah, this Second Thessalonians chapter two verse thirteen said, "But we are bound to give thanks always to Yahweh for you, brethren, beloved of the Lord Yahweh Shai, because Yahweh had from the beginning choose you to salvation, the elect." 144,000 and children, right? He said, Choose you to, to salvation, choose sanctification of the spirit and belief of the truth, right? So the elect don't get this when they hear it, they're gonna repent, they're gonna turn back, they're gonna put, they're gonna trust Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, they're gonna praise the name of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, and that's how they're gonna be delivered, right? As the scripture say in the Ecclesiasticus, you know. That the elect shall praise his name. The elect shall praise the they shall praise the name of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Right? Let's see if we can bring it out quick. You know. Um This is um Let's see if we'll get it. It's um it said the elect shall praise his holy name, right? 
this is um this is ecclesiastical chapter 17 verse 10 and the elect shall praise his holy name he said beside beside he said beside this he gave them knowledge and the law of life for a heritage he made an everlasting covenant with them and showed them his judgment so knowledge wisdom knowledge and wisdom knowledge and understanding gonna be the stability of your time right that's how that's how you're gonna be delivering this time and the elect the elect alone gonna be delivered because the elect gonna have faith in Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. The elect gonna call on Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. And they're gonna believe in Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. And Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai gonna deliver them. Right? And with that, hope this lesson was edifying. I wanna give all praises and glory and honor to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and elders who rule well at Great Millstone. And a blessed sanitation to the Akiyams in the four county earth who push in the gospel and sincerity and truth. Shalom.